What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our preparation for the Revit Structural Design Certification Examination. Alright, so for this topic, I'm going to teach you how to develop a material takeoff. Okay, so this is the exercise file. So the first thing that we are going to do to create a tabular schedule that displays the total volume of concrete we are going to create a material takeoff. Okay, so as you can see, we are on the 3D view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a schedule. So we have a couple of ways to create the schedule. It's either you go to the schedule and then you can click the schedule strap down here. You can select schedule quantities or just right click the schedules on the project browser and then just select uh, schedule quantities new schedule quantities just click that one there you go all right so now on our schedule so we are going to select um, material takeoff oh sorry not this one so right click the schedules quantities this is the one that we are going to select material takeoff all right so just click that one Okay, on, and on the in the new material takeoff dialogues, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to make sure that uh, multi-category is selected, which is this one. Okay, and then we are going to look for uh, concrete volume for the name, or we are going to put concrete volume for the name so that this what we want on our material takeoff and then after that let us just select okay again make sure multi-category selected and then name it concrete volume all right and then let's select here okay there you go okay now the next thing that we are going to do in the material takeoff properties on the fields tab so we are going to add the material name and then the material volume. So let's select the material name. Just double click that and then the material volume. Okay. Now the next one is uh, go to the filter tab. So we are going to create a filter to only show materials that contain concrete. Okay. So there are many solutions to this but for this example, so we are going to filter it by uh, material name okay and then that instead of equal so i'm going to select here uh begins with all right so let's use this one begins with um n w t okay so i want to filter these materials that begins with n w t so that's the one that i want to show on my filter or on my uh, material takeoff now on the sorting grouping tab so we are going to set sort by material name okay so we are going to select material name and then make sure that grand totals is checked and then we are going to uncheck itemize every instance we do not want to show all the elements there so what will happen is this will roll up the schedule into a line for each material. But since there is only one grade of concrete in the model, there will be one line displayed. Okay? All right. Okay, so what else? On the format, so let's go to the format. So we are going to select the volume here. And then we're going to set the calculation here. Instead of no calculation, we're going to select calculate totals. Okay, so calculate totals. And then after that, just select OK and that's it. Okay, just select OK. And there you go. Okay, so your material takeoff is now complete. And it's now showing you that you have 43. Okay, note that you can edit the column titles directly in our schedule view. So you can click that one and then you can change. Okay, so that's how you create your material takeoff. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions,
questions or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.